looking at your setup, a couple of things we discussed there in terms of our address position. Number one, I want to make sure the ball is not too far forward with this club. Just because it's a three wood or a mm. fairway wood or a wood category, yeah, yeah. it doesn't go right heel. The driver yeah, yeah. does because the ball's a little tee peg, yeah. and we, as we said, want to strike the golf ball on the way up. So we move the ball further forward in our stance yeah. to give us that more upward strike mm. at contact. When the ball's sat on the ground, as it would be with a fairway wood off a fairway, we want to be striking the ball as the club is coming down slightly yeah. or certainly shallowing out rather than swinging up. The other thing you'll find, as we said, when the ball gets too far forward, your shoulders were aiming to the right. right yeah, now, yeah, that's going to yeah. obviously encourage the path of the club to go that way. Mm -hmm. Now, if your club face is aiming this way and the uh, path yeah. is following that yellow light, you exactly, yeah. you got it in one, you're going to create that sort of slice spin now so the ball will start there and do this off yes, to the left. Yes, yeah. So that's going to create a couple of issues. One, we're going to catch the ball slightly off the bottom part of the club because the ball's a little bit too far forward. Mm -hmm. We're going to be coming across the ball as a glancing blow. Mm -hmm. That's going to lose more distance. And the ball's now going to be slicing in the air right to left, yeah, yeah. lose even more distance. Yeah, so your yeah. contact's going to be poor. Your direction, the path's going to be poor, more of a slapping strut rather yeah, than the contact yeah. you're trying to get. And the ball spinning right to left, going to lose some distance. So, so all it's those things. It's a set up with the, the club face as well. Yeah, it's so a set up with there. the club face straight. Don't turn the club face to start with, okay? Mm -hmm. But at the moment, the blue line is where you feel your club is pointing at yes. contact, which is straight, yeah. okay? Yeah. In reality, your club at impact is pointing where the red line is. Yeah. So therefore, your club now is, we'll say, 15 degrees open mm. as a, just a ballpark oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What we've got to try and do is get the sensation now you're swinging the club Back 15 way, yards yeah. to the right. Mm. Okay, or 15 yeah, degrees. That, uh, exactly. Because yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. if you think you're on the blue line and you're actually on the red line, mm. when you think you're on the green line, mm. you're actually on the blue line. Yeah, you see? Yeah, yeah. And that's the, sort of the enhancement of trying to sort of pull the club face yeah. around. The problem is, this is the first one you had when you were, sort of, you were working more on the arms rather than the club face square up. If we watch as you come through now, you can sort of see your arms sort of pulling across your chest yeah. there to try and please get right on yes. you yeah. and do whatever you possibly can to start the ball somewhere mm. here, yeah. knowing that some sort of spin is going to keep the ball. Mm. Exactly. Mm. So we've got to become more aware of where that club face yeah. is pointing. Yeah. And what you'll see, when you get it correct, as you see in this case, Back seems good. As we come back, if we square the club face up now, impact, as we can see there, mm. the golf ball now is going to be struck with a square club face. The ball now is going to fly, as we can see, down the driving range. Yeah. It's flying dead straight to your target. Okay? So we're becoming more aware of where the club face is pointing, yeah. Yeah. not trying to swing the club mm -hmm. this way. We have to try and get the club face to point that way. Because yeah, yeah. where this point is the biggest influence on where the ball goes. Mm, yes, yeah, but a lot yeah. of people who slice, whether they're left or right handers, if they slice the ball off to the side, they then try and swing the club in the opposite direction. Mm, so mm. if you and I left handers, they try and swing it to the right. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the left, right handers try and swing the club to the yeah. left. But what I've done before, see, is I've, I've had it there, and yeah. if I sort of went out there, what I tend to do is I you twist my arms over a bit more. Yeah, well, the more you twist your hands, and this is something to be interesting, actually, the more your hand, your left hand twists over, mm. the further left it will go. Uh, yeah, yeah. Think about if you're driving a car and you're at a mm. steering okay? So our hands are on the wheel at 10 and 2, I yeah, suppose. Yeah, yeah. If we turn our hands further over, mm, mm. can you turn the wheel any further right when you have to yeah, turn? You, you know, can't, you know, where are you going to turn more? You're going to yeah. turn more to the left, aren't yeah, you? Yeah. So the further your hands start to address over, the less they can turn to its hitting mm, area. Mm, mm. So in some ways, don't make, if anything, you want to go turn your hands to the left to start yeah, with, yeah. and then they'll roll over more. But I think your ah, grip's right. fine, so I wouldn't change that. But yeah, yeah, yeah a yeah. lot of people, they, they've heard magazine articles, they've read articles, or heard people say things, that when you hit the golf ball, you try and roll your arms. Mm, mm, but what mm. they do, they try and roll their arms at setup. Ah, yeah, so yeah. they start with their hands too far Already over, mm. and the club face is square. And then you're going to come back to your more neutral position. The yeah, club yeah. face now is going to be pointing way to the left there. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, be careful yeah. we don't actually change the setup to start with. It's the sensation when we hit the ball yeah, that the club yeah. is rolling and changing direction. Okay, mm, so mm. setup wise, like I say, was okay. Just the ball position a bit too far forward. Yeah. Okay, yeah. bring that back. Yeah. Help get your shoulders square. And then the sensation now through the ball is what's feeling like you're going to hit the golf ball over here somewhere way to the right by squaring the club face up, mm. not trying to hit it right with yeah. the arms, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Again, we can see on is here now... Is the feet okay? Yeah, 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 I, I think it's fine, I mean, yeah. The last time yeah. I was here, yeah. I mean, my feet were yeah, too wide, so now I'm exact, no, trying to keep yeah, them... Yeah, definitely, that, that looks really good to you. That, yeah. that, overall, that setup looks very good. Now the ball mm. is back a little bit. Yeah. Just as we come through, there's a definite, distinct sensation of keeping the head down, the head still down uh, there, yeah, look, yeah. and then 
it sort of comes to a little bit late. I mean, yeah. we're talking yes, you hundreds said, of yeah, a second. Right. Yeah, but yeah, but it's enough to sort of just keep the body stopping. Mm, mm. When you're doing your better chip shots, I think it's a lot more fluid yeah. and twisting through. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense, yeah? Yeah. Good, have yeah, a couple more yeah. then and we'll uh, see how it goes. Yeah. And